Hey, this is Greg, Underground Graphics. Today we've got a T-Rex in, and I know we haven't done a video yet for the hood installation. This one is local, so we had a chance to do this for you on video. We did, almost got started, and I thought, hey, this would be a great chance to get this done for you guys. So, real quick, this is gonna be our mat installation on here. We, we do already have this tape, just like with everything. If you watch some of our other videos, we wanna clean the hood. Um, if it's been out for a while, if it's not brand new, we suggest you do a quick clay bar on it. In this case, uh, we, did do, we, we, we have already done that. We went back with an alcohol water mix to get everything off of that. It's clean, it's ready to go. Again, this is already taped in place. We're gonna do a hinge method top to bottom on this. This is pretty tricky to get on from the sides. It's a big truck, it's right there in the center. We're about five eighths of an inch from our plastics to our hood on both sides about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch, you've got a little bit of play going front to back, and it's really just where you wanna find that, uh, what, what feels good for you. This front piece, this is also gonna be a good test for this. This one came back to us, the customer was freaking out about this wrinkle in it. Um, I think they ordered satin, it came back in matte. It came back to us, and this, this, is, this was outside the box. It shouldn't have been like that. We did not ship that out that way. But anyway, my point is that's gonna come out, it's gonna be just fine once we lay this. Additionally, we've got a bedside for this as well, and a bedside inlay. So this would be a good demonstration of some of the easy pieces we have for the T-Rex. And uh, yeah, let's get started. The tools you're gonna need, a um, pair of scissors, your soft squeegee. Again, we will provide you a squeegee with that. Um, it is not gonna have the felt edge on that, so we do ask that you add a microfiber or a soft T-shirt around the edge of that. If you're gonna go right on the film itself. Now these do come with the mask so that any discoloration you're seeing on that film, these little air bubbles, all that stuff that's on that mat, that's just the mask. The vinyl underneath will be totally fine. And again, this is a front to back hinge. fingers and just make sure there's no nothing left on that and this is a little tricky but again since this is air release this will essentially just lay right down and get that started And again, this is the beauty of air release vinyl. This is 3M wrap film. A lot of people like to use the high performance cast. Nothing wrong with that. It's a wet install. It's messy, it takes a long time. Once you get this placed where you know it's going to be, it's actually pretty quick. Now here, I don't want to pull all the way back because those spears in the front, so I'm going to have to pull a little bit. Kind of work that center out. A little bit of tension on that, so I'm just gonna kind of hold that down. for you all and this thing just comes out totally botched it'll happen we all make mistakes so 
this is where I want to I'm just barely pulling on that just to give a little bit of tension. I can feel a bubble in there. I'm gonna leave that there and show you what that's like to get out. Remember, this is where we had all that wrinkles and stuff in there. Give it a little pull. Follow this body line. I'm gonna go light with this in case I do need to pull that back up, but I think that's gonna be all right. And again, I like to do these separate because in case you need to kind of change the direction of this, you can, but just staying around on top of it, you can follow that line of that You do want this to be a cool hood, so don't do this outside. I recommend that you don't do this on a car that just gets pulled in like we're doing now. And you can see some of those little bubbles in there. That just means we didn't get full coverage on that squeegee. But, well, that's it. If you can see there, that's where I felt a little bit of those air bubbles. Those are stubborn. We'll get this out in just a second. Like I said, that would be totally fine. Now, for some of those stubborn pieces, we're gonna take a plastic squeegee or something really, we don't wanna scratch the paint on this. And again, this is a little bit rushed. We're gonna lightly pick that area up. Get our heat gun.
Now, once this is done, again, we want to go back with that heat gun. 180 degrees is that magic number. Again, there wasn't a lot of stress on this. You just want to make sure that there's nothing coming up, no little air pockets. If one does come up and you see it from there, don't push it down immediately. You saw that I just kind of blew a little bit of cold air, or not my breath is cold or not, but um, just let it cool for just a second before you go back and push down on that. Otherwise, you'll get your fingerprint in there if it's too hot. And we've got one more piece we're gonna add on here, which is the TRX in red. And then we'll move on real quick to that bedside. I do wanna note that as we get to the bedside, we've had a couple in here that we've taken that rubbing off of so we could get pretty close to that OEM size. And they've been different every time. So what we give you as a guide it's always going to be just that. It's a guide. Um, use your best judgment. I'll walk you through that here in just a minute. And this is that overlay piece. So you can order this hood. Solid black with the TRX reversed out. Or we can add a color on top. We've got a lot more coming as well. As much as I want a T-Rex in the shop, we're working on it. Again, this was cut right to shape, so you don't have to measure anything on. Customer also chose, again, this is the matte black. Um, we went through on our hood inlay a few weeks ago, the choices of matte or satin. Neither of them are a perfect match to your scoop. And we still prefer the matte because it serves the function of your non-glare. This is a big hood and in the sun, it's a big glare. So this is a little bit lighter than your darker plastics and your darker piece up front. We do have a 3M control tack that is a better match to this. It's a calendared film, so I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, it'll still be fine on the vehicle. It's just not as quality. It's not as good as our 3M wraps. All right, let's take a quick image of that. And we'll move to the back. All right, so same thing back here. We kind of like already got this preset. We have wiped it down, alcohol, water mix. Uh, make sure this is nice and smooth. You typically don't want to go over a ceramic coating. Um, it's been there for a while, talk to the guy who coated it. We have had issues in the past where we put decals over ceramic coating, we pulled them up, it takes off the coating. Uh, we encourage you to talk to your local detailer, ask them what they recommend. Um, and again, this one has not been coated. We're going to do the decals first and then it's going to be coated. So these are going to come labeled driver passenger. You've got these marks up here for the bedside decals, which is going to basically follow that body line. Same thing here in the back. It's a little V. Again, the few that we've measured, they've all been a little bit different. 
So we get these taped up right where we think they're gonna be. And you can step back, just kind of give it a good eyesight. I think that looks pretty good. And again, it's up to you. We thought this was the best placement for it. We have seen them shift a little bit. So if you wanna move it, feel free to move it. I'm good with this, so we're gonna leave it right where it's at. And again, we're gonna do that hinge method again. Again, I like to cut this little piece of tape there on the end. That way I have a, a guide to come back to. We can also cut out those letters for driver's side. That's gonna just be stuck to the car and be more to take off. So I'll try not to squeegee hard over that area. Because this is wrap film, we can just take that back, come all the way back, line it up with our tape. You still want to go center out, but a lot more forgiving. Again, this one we're going to do that center fill in a black. I'm not sure if I've already got that pre cut or not, but it'll just take a second to do. And we do not. That's going to be that center fill. It's going to be cut there to save space. Put these on individually. y'all are enjoying the content that we're doing for you if you guys have any questions at all just give us a call like comment subscribe this is going to leave just a little bit of border in there you're going to have a little bit of play in that basically it just lines up right in there Now these will work, the reason this is cut a little bit smaller is so they will work with the OEM ones as well. I think we have a red option, that's really any color option you want, but a lot of people are doing the red to fill the OEM, OEM pieces. And that's really it. Again, you want to go back with a little bit of heat just to make sure that's we got all the adhesive set on there. This is a really flat piece, so you really don't have to get crazy with the heat on that. But and once this is outside for a couple hours, I know it's not sunny right now, but we'll be good to go. 
All right, y'all, I'm gonna get the other side done, get this gentleman out of here. And uh, thanks again for watching our videos. If you have any questions or comments, like I said, just give us a call. Thank you.